Welcome to another edition of EMU Soccer Weekly here on Eagle All Access. Adam Kuffner joined once again by EMU head coach Scott Hall. And coach, after a tough weekend at home, you really rebounded and shut out two of the better teams in the Mackey, shutting out Ohio 3 to nothing uh, at Ohio in Athens on Friday before going to Kent State and shutting them out 2 nothing. What was the secret to the success this past weekend? Uh, I think, again, with the juniors and seniors we have on this team, we stayed even keel after kind of a rough weekend and came back out and just played soccer again on uh, Friday. We got a good rhythm, got a couple nice goals early, uh, which able to ride that game out and then fought hard against the tough Kent State team. Uh, for the third time this season, Megan McCabe, due to her shutouts, was named MAC Defensive Player of the Week, and she hasn't allowed a goal in over 300 minutes on the road. And not doing that, not only away from Sakuna Field, but also preventing the shutouts, what does that do for her confidence level? Uh, I mean, she's always been a pretty confident kid, which is nice, and I think she's been fantastic for us. But also in front of her, you know, uh, we, we've had uh, Molly Crick, our defensive midfielder, the four backs have been, I mean, outstanding. And again, we challenged them to kind of tighten things up over the last couple of weeks, and they've been really sharp, uh, just, you know, preventing. We've had a lot less corners over the last couple of weeks, and I think all those things help. Uh, McCabe and McCabe does a great job but I think all of that you put all that together and that's really kind of creating uh, the momentum that we've gotten here the last uh, two games. In the two wins this past weekend along with some other results in the MAC allowed you to jump to the top of the MAC West division and also secure a spot in the MAC tournament and you control your own destiny to not only win the division but win the MAC regular season title so does that put pressure on the team or is it a relief to know that you have the control in your own hands? Uh, I mean that's always pressure but the, the, that's the MAC conference and I think our team knows that w what we have to worry about right now is Buffalo on Friday. Um, so I think that's kind of our focus this week. How can we sharpen up? What are some things we can do to help us beat Buffalo? Um, and then, you know, we're going to know uh, Halloween. At Halloween night, we'll know uh, where we stand and what's going to happen there. But with this conference, I mean, even over the last two weeks, things change so quickly. So we'll just stay focused on what we have to do, take care of uh, – what we need to do to be ready for Buffalo and go from there. And speaking of Buffalo, you take them on Friday here at Sakuna Field before you take on Akron on Sunday. And both those teams are really trying to fight for those final playoff spots in the MAC tournament. So what kind of challenges do they bring to the table for your team? Well, first, Buffalo's a tough team. I mean, I think they have seven one-goal losses over the last couple weeks. So I think they are frustrated. They're ready. You know, they're, they're due for something. And, and hopefully for us, we can kind of slow that momentum down. Um, Away from home is going to be tough for them to drive in from Buffalo and all that. Um, but they're going to be a good team. They're always tough. It's always a one-goal game with them. So we're, we're going to be ready just to kind of – we're going to try to keep get the momentum in our favor, especially to start off here at home, and we'll see. And Akron is going to be senior day. Five seniors will be playing their final regular season contest here at Sakuna Field. And talk about what their careers have meant for, not, for your team, not only this year, but throughout their four years here. Well, I mean, it's an interesting group. A couple of them had injuries, so they're actually fifth-year seniors. So um, it, it's a group that's had a ton of experience, played a ton of games here, been through very good seasons, been through some rough seasons. Uh, so I think it's nice that a nice fitting way for us to kind of help them finish their career here at Eastern. It'll be a nice, a nice day. We'll have the administrators out. We'll have a nice ceremony for them. Uh, always kind of bittersweet. You, you work so hard to get them to this point and then you're you're devastated when they leave and the leadership that they the the, the holes they kind of leave there for that but we're excited for them it's a good group it'll be once again a big weekend here at Sakuna Field senior day is going to be Sunday October 27th before uh, we go back to Buffalo that's going to be Friday at three o'clock so hopefully you can join us out here at Sakuna Field for Adam Kuffner Scott Hall thanks again for joining us here on Eagle All Access